I mean, this alchemy deck came across my Twitter timeline and I felt like I had to give it a try. This is an alchemy life gain combo deck. So grinning Ingus here, along with Bergy or Racketeer boss, gives us unlimited spell cast slash enter the battlefield effects. Because if you get at least one extra mana, this makes three mana. So for four mana, you can loop it. And then with Innkeeper or Veteran, uh, Lunark Veteran here, you gain life when you loop this into play. And then this allows you to put counters on these or drain them with Deanna Soulsteeper. And then we've got Revels as well as Inquisitor Captain here as a way to find extra copies of our, our combo creatures. So let's go ahead and pop on into some games with this and see how it goes. This is the number one deck in Alchemy. I have no idea. I haven't played almost any Alchemy in the last month. I just saw this on Twitter and it looked neat. So let's try and play some games with it. If we play if we play all mirror matches, maybe we'll bounce out and do Explorer instead. But I have no, I, no idea what this format looks like. LaCarp, thank you for the over three years. Welcome back. And Disposable Hero, coming up on three years as well. Good morning, good morning. Wizards of the Coast claimed that Alchemy is more popular than Explorer on Magic Arena, but they didn't share the data, and based on Alchemy queue times always being longer than Explorer queue times for me, I definitely don't feel like I believe them. Yeah, it could be specifically best of one. Maybe best of three explorer is more popular than best of one explorer. I'd buy I'd buy that for a dollar. Non non-rotating formats tend to suck as best of one. Like historic best of one in proportion to best of three is not particularly popular. Would have been nice to have an undipland on to you. Yeah. Just gonna innkeeper into Tiny Dancer here. We have four lands, we are not looking for another. 
Uh, Bergy is technically a combat, right? Keep her there. Attack with the captain because they want to trade for City Stalker. That's fine for us. I can look for her, something better than that. I'd like a three drop or a... Yeah, it's fine. I'll get, I'll get real big real fast. We'll continue attacking with Inquisitor Captain. things about this seeking is the fact that it doesn't shuffle all of these cards that we've been scrying to the bottom which is great Could like meat hook for one here to keep their city stalker kind of serve but clean out most of my board. Really, they meat hooked for three? That's so surprising. That's gotta be a mistake, right? For 10 here, no big deal. It's going on, distinction. Don't let your memes be dreams indeed. Welcome back. Yeah, Revel's just like handily ground them out there, huh? Uh, are you even sideboarding here? I might just click submit. Just kind of chill. It's like our main deck's kind of grindy. I don't feel like they have any must answer cards or like things we need to disrupt. Feels like a lot of our sideboard is like anti-combo, anti-control and our, our game, main game plan's fighting against mid range. Ha! 
Revels into Captain is uh, kind of a gross one too, huh? Get shit. The new audio improvements to Marvel Snap are so good in this patch party. What's going on, Sky Guy? Thanks for the 33. And Harlequin, thank you for the 33 as well. Oh man! Grinning Ingus plus Revels just pulls every every one and two mana creature out of our deck. Oh that's that's stupid. And these are both cast triggers, right? Yes, yeah, so they, they actually just can't interact with this. Yeah, so they're they're actually just dead here, right? This is getting balance patched. This is getting balance patched on the seventh, right? Why why is this legal? Oh, oh, the trigger gives them a chance to stop it. The trigger gives them a chance to stop it. Wait, I thought they couldn't respond. If they have spot removal, they can kill Gritting in response here. Do they not have spot removal or do they just not realize what's happening? They actually just don't have a piece of spot removal. Sure. Sure. No, uh, Gritting Ingus is Sorcery Speed. Look at that quality turn four removal check gameplay, chat. Quality turn four removal check gameplay that created an otherwise insurmountable board. Love Punch, thanks for the Prime. I know there's a ton of great people out there. You could support everyone with that. Thanks for sending it this way this month and keeping me around. Wouldn't be able to be here without folks like you. Remember too, if you're enjoying the content and you don't have a Prime sub and you like to earn yourself a free sub to the channel, we need 46 more people to check out Kingdom Maker using my link there on Android or iOS to get me a bit of a bonus. In addition to getting a free sub for checking out the sponsor promo, if we hit that 110 goal, I intend to uh, do some bonus stream time this weekend. And be live Saturday, Sunday with some magic and some Marvel Snap. Like you take an honest shake and explore build around sometime today if you'd be willing. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for the biddies, Mar. Hey, awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be we'll be snapping a little bit later. We do a few hours of magic to start the streams, and we're gonna shift over to snap around noon ish. Would uh would tomorrow work for you, Mar? I think I think we're gonna jam we're gonna jam this alchemy deck for the rest of the magic session today. Perfect. Yeah, we'll we'll take a crack at it tomorrow. I appreciate the support as always. You're great. What do you do for Kingdom Account? Just give it an install using my link and get your keep to level two. Takes about takes about ten minutes to do, or a little less, depending on how quick you click. Sand's fine. Doesn't have a one drop on one. We got all of our colors of mana. One thing that's kind of neat about this deck too is if your hand doesn't really come together, you can play Bergy on the Horn of Bounty to generate card advantage with her that way. How about Thanks for the 27 months. Welcome back. So I think I saw a uh, deck submission form, so I assume that was you. I can take a look at what she wrote there. What's going on, Valari? Thanks for the 12 months. Welcome back. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what competitive magic looks like once they scale up the Pro Tour stuff again. If there's a if there's an interest in competitive magic, we'll probably dip back in here in Hooklandia at some point. But definitely more of a wait and see thing at the moment. 
Yeah, I could line up Infinite Life here, but Infinite Life isn't very good on Magic Arena, so I, I think this might be a Horn Hand. All right, there's the Revels. I should have just believed, Jeff. I should have. I should have just believed. We need, we need to draw untapped land next turn so we can go Bergy and Degrading. Uh, I could also revels off of Bergy into an Innkeeper. Wait, that does it too, because now Veteran is a ritual, because it makes a treasure and it makes a mana off of Bergy. Holy fuck, why has this deck not been patched yet? This, this really highlights the problem with Wizards of the Coast. Like, they finally have the ability to be like, make live changes to a format, and stuff like this is just like, hanging out and legal for some reason. Like, this is, this is not okay, chat. Like, not, not even a little bit is this okay. Okay, good. And then Deanna kills them here. Deanna says every time we gain life, they lose life. That's why, this is why there's one card that we have a hard time casting in our deck, because she's lethal in a spot like this. Yeah, if the, if the card's not named Winota, it can't be hotfixed on Magic Arena, huh? I mean, this is kind of funny for us, but I'm sure this is, like, absolutely miserable on the other side of the table, right? I guess, see, this seems absolutely atrocious to play against. Chat, if, if they don't patch this deck, I don't think we're playing Alchemy next week. I think this is going to be a, we're going to do this to people today, but like, but I really don't want to play into this with Baldur's Gate cards. That does not sound like a, a pleasant, interesting experience. Yeah, yeah, absurdly powerful and minimal points of interaction. Just like absolutely rancid combination to play against. Yeah, we are definitely the bad guy here, chat. Not, not particularly close. We are the bad guy. <laughs> you take a short break for Jeff to shower before a snap? Yeah, probably, honestly. Well, so I think it's worth noting, though, that this deck fits fire design to a T because we replay Grinning Ingus over and over and over again and everybody knows the R in fire stands for replayable. So if you think this deck isn't exactly what Wizards of the Coast wants their format to be, the fire acronym tells us otherwise. We're just doing this for now. Are they also a combo deck? Maybe?
Okay, so... Do we want to... You want a grinning Ingus? I think we just revels, right? Voice gets a Lunark. That's true. We could just voice into Lunark. Let's go from there. I, like, make them deal with our fair plan for the time being. I, I kind of want to wait till we can do both of these at once, right? Thank you for the 40 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Are you having fun yet, opponent? Is it good for you? It was good for me. I got there. Hey, right, do they have a one mana removal spell here? Otherwise they're dead. This, this is it's like just not remotely okay. Like not in the in the realm. Like just I just I, I, I like I'm just at a loss for words. That, that like I can feel my sodium levels rising. Yep. <laughs> Listen, chat, we're raking in the sodium today, okay? We're gonna farm up some ladder points playing the busted deck. This deck's probably even more cracked in best of one, huh? And that's the other thing about this. This deck's probably not very popular on the ladder because it's a bunch of rares and mythics that are otherwise useless. So it's super expensive for people to craft this deck. That should probably not be legal. That's true, chat. Get that pay to win experience. Look at that, perfectly rewarded for what we bottomed. Good beats. Oh no! Oh no! Our action is cheating. Hey, thanks to whoever completed the Kingdom Maker promo. Appreciate you. If you want to collect your free sub, just DM me a screenshot of your Keep It Level 2 on Twitter or uh, Twitch here, and I'll get that hooked up. Honestly, chat, 
Would you think less of me if I queued up for best of one? Who would who would think less of me? Anybody? Man, that queue is instant. That queue that queue is instantaneous. Yes, but only a little bit. I can live with a little bit. Well, that, that's just the thing. I would bet we're not going to play a lot of mirrors with this deck because it's so expensive to craft and it's so cracked. Like, people don't want... The Magic Arena economy makes it a huge risk to put cards into something like this, right? Have a random card from my deck. Enjoy. Well, and this this is alchemy. They won't even ban one card out of this deck. They'll just change the text box on it. And you'll get you'll get nothing. Good day, sir. You lose nothing. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Morning, Jack. Yurt, sign me up. No, chat. Our opponent's cards are generating value. Racket. I'd like to attempt to trade with your Nadar because my Racketeer boss is a 3-2. No sky clay apparition, one time dealer. Okay. That's an interactive bit. Oh, they took my power away. Dude. We might just get run down here, huh? So we can't full combo but Rebels can at least generate us a ton of value here. Well, to be fair, uh, two of the key cards in this deck are new cards, right? Oh, we're actually just torched you, right? We're not quite dead yet.
That means we're dead. We need a really solid Inquisitor Captain here, but that'll, that'll do big. Uh, Archon says we can only cast one spell per turn. Impromptu. Okay, so you just have to play white cards in alchemy right now because you need Curse of Silence or Strict Proctor or Archon to stop this deck. It's just a format where you have to be doing those things. Hey, what's going on, John? Thanks for the 12 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Murder does it. So not really, because um, if you just, like, point and click kill our thing, we're just, like, bury you with value from it, right? Yeah, that's true, too. The white, the white cards that beat this deck probably get slaughtered by Meat Hook Massacre. So I guess, I guess they gave the format a rock, paper, scissors. Uh, our first mirror of the day. Our opponent is also a rather cultured individual chip. Do they have their revels on three? Are they better than us? Literally dueling the shuffler. Yeah, basically. Mood. Oh, that's their username is the shuffler. I was just assuming you were commenting on the fact that a combo mirror is mostly just luck of the draw, but. Am I dead yet? We could definitely be dead here, Chip. Hey, what's going on, Jelly Bean? Thanks for the 28. Welcome back. Thanks for the tier two. Good morning, good morning. Spider-Man meme here. Yeah, I think we just draw this and cast it. I'm gonna like try and kill them in the air before uh before they get going. Dear opponent, 
Please don't kill me. Please, please don't kill me. We can dodge a grinning Ingus. We can dodge ball chip. Ah, the desperation burgy to get a life gain trigger. We are, we are the superior Naya bullshit deck jet. And by that, I mean we're luckier than the Shuffler. What's going on, Cedrus? Thanks for 25 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Uh, I'd like an untapped land on two, but otherwise this is fine. Now, now, pseudo name. Now I can't acknowledge anything. Although I will say that you said almost a year, and that was a 12 month sub, so maybe I just subconsciously missed your resub message because it was factually incorrect. At any rate, welcome back. Devilish Valet is uh, rather terrifying. It's gonna be a large, large lad. There's another, another card that could technically pay you off in this archetype, huh? So, we technically have an arbitrarily large amount of life now, right? Oh my gosh, I have to click auto pay every time. Chat, infinite is not a number. You're required to pick a number. And on Magic Arena, I promise you that number is going to be much less than infinite. In Paper Magic, you go to some big number. Here, we just got to do the thing. Your opponent, how much do you value your time? I stream Magic the Gathering, so the answer to my time is very low. Nice space bar auto pay. Good question. I can, good call.
See, chat? Fun. Inviting. This is the replayable part of fire design. All right, I'm going to go to 69 for meme value here, and then we'll pass the turn. Yeah, yeah, there's no chess clock in best of one chat, so I'm not... I'm not even do I'm not even wasting any valuable I'm not even spewing game equity by doing this. Literally holding the opponent hostage, they can concede at any time, shit. I've got I've got I got 32 more life to gain here. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, we could definitely die next turn, chip. In fact, we lose we lose to Justin, guess, right? Alright, fine, I'm bored. Show me your guess. Alright. So, Bergy plus Ingus is similar infinite for them, and it makes their valet kill us. I mean, our copy of Valet is basically uh, the Cabaretti Revels, right? With the difference being that this is a value engine when our opponent um, is interacting with us while Valet is just like a 1-3 while the opponent is interacting with us. Because like, this card finds Dina when we're comboing. Because Revels pulls every one and two mana creature out of your deck. conclusion that uh, we're going to play Explore. <laughs> if I I'm glad we did this today because if they don't patch this deck we're not playing Alchemy next week. This this format, that's just trash. Like actual just like completely uninteresting dry awful gameplay. So we'll post that one to 